Welcome to part 11 of the Austin Metro rebuild. Today I'm going to be concentrating on the roof. I'm going to have to feel across them, fill in as much as possible, and then just start to smooth it off. So I'll be using a combination of obviously the big flat sander, possibly bring the, the new DA that I bought myself in on it, and just get that roof as close as possible. So what I've done, as you can see, just panel wipe the roof. And I'm just gonna put a bit of rush treatment in a couple of places where I had to rub back to bare metal. You can see the best in, in this area here. Just, if I can get it to focus right, just a little bit of pit in there. That's just what I wanna make sure is treated because it's things like that, that I don't wanna come back through. There's a little bit more over here. You couldn't even really see it through the paint, but I just really don't want anything to come back. There's a tiny little bit over there as well. Then at the back, I've rubbed down the hinge area. You can see the, the black pit in there that obviously needs the treatment on it as well. And then if I just take you right in on where it had the little seam of rust, I was gonna just treat that as it is but what I think I'm going to do is wire wheel the whole seam, take the entire seam across there, back to bare metal, and just start again so I can put some treatment on it. And then I, I definitely know that nothing's going to come back. As you will have seen on the time lapse then I've wire wheeled all the edge of the roof where it meets the, the back panel and it's all come out really really nicely. There's some really small blotches of black that you can see which is where the rust used to be so what I'll do is I'll give this whole thing a coating of rust treatment all the way over it and then I think it'll just be ready for a zinc prime and then we can crack on with it. I'll probably see the bonnet over there, just on the leading edge of the bonnet where it had some quite, quite bad corrosion. I'll probably give that an extra coat of the rust treatment as well. So I'll crack on with this now. Paying sort of more attention, get it into the crease and with a bit of luck, because I've got rid of all the seam sealer that was in there, I'll be able to get right in, and that will have a, a layer of seam sealer put in before the top coat goes on. I think these are all the, the boring jobs no one ever wants to do, but make such a big difference in the end, because you could probably get away with just giving this a paint straight over the top, and it'd take that long for the corrosion to find its way back through. And it wouldn't really matter. But because I've no intention on ever getting rid of the car, I may as well get it as good as, as I can or as good as my ability will allow me to. So again there's some minor pitting just where the hinge was. But you can actually see, so if you look here, how thin the paint was.
Just give you a quick update on how the roof's doing. So it's been rubbed down. And I'm just putting, it's only a, a light skimmer filler. I know it looks like a lot, but it really is. And it's very, very thin. And then obviously it's getting rubbed off. Quick. Here's a quick view of my garage at the moment. The filling works almost done on the roof. Smooth into all the corners. You can see it's not as thick as it looks. It is just a really, really thin skin. What I'm gonna do, I think, some of the high build primer and then rub that down with 240 grit or maybe even 400 grit and then I'll leave it for a while to settle just to make sure I get no sagging marks. Quick, up, quick update of where I'm up to. So I have put a layer of primer over the roof and started to rub it back. If I just give you a, a quick show over it. It is minimal, but you can hopefully see. Obviously, until it gets glossed, you know, you've got to tell everything. But all the shape and everything is bang on. Got some areas I need to get zinc primed now. And I've got a couple of bits just to get some stopper in so you can see just there. A couple of little spots just in the pro in the filler. This is probably the the heaviest area, but even there it's only maybe a mil thick at most you can tell by the roof. Hardly anything at all. But it just wasn't quite right. So I've gone over all, I've gone over all the, the small holes with the stopper filler and what I'll be doing is I'll be rubbing that back now. I will check over and see if there's any more before it does get its, its first proper coat of primer. And then once it's primed, I'll be giving it a, a coloured coat just to look for any imperfections. If you like the video, please do subscribe to the channel and like. Um, and if you're new to the channel, please check out all the other videos as well.